Welcome to our lecture online. We can't really talk about finding the probability of something without talking about Bayes' rule. Bayes' rule is a very interesting approach to finding some accurate results when we're looking for the probability of an event occurring, especially if some priori knowledge is known. So, the definition of Bayes' rule is, and it's also of course known as Bayes' theorem, Bayes' rule is a technique Again, it's trying to find the probability of something, but that will provide a more accurate probability estimate based on the outcome of previous events or based on prior knowledge of associated events. So depending upon what's happened before and some priori knowledge put into the, well, the calculation for finding the probability, we have a new technique now called Bayes' rule to find that probability more accurately. This rule is given by the following mathematical equation. Now notice that it is the probability that A will occur given that B has occurred, which is equal to the probability that B will occur given that A has occurred, times the probability that A will occur, divided by the probability that B will occur. Wow, what does that really mean? Well, just know for now that it's a more accurate technique to find the probability that event will occur when some other knowledge is known. For example, we already know what has happened with event B and there may be some other priori knowledge going into the calculation. Sometimes there's multiple events that we have to look at and so we'll write it as this, that the probability that one of those events belonging to event A will occur known or given that B has occurred is equal to the probability that B will occur given that that particular event A has occurred times the probability of that particular event divided by all the possibilities of getting the probability of B which can be written as this. Again right now that may not seem like it makes any sense but with some examples it will make perfect sense. Just understand that it's a really good way to find the probability given knowledge about some event that, does, that has already occurred plus some other prior knowledge that may go into calculating this probability. You'll see when we see the examples that it's really a marvelous way to find the probability of something. So stay tuned and we'll show you how it actually works.